Here in the first style of Priyanka, I created the look using uh, wire coat hangers, which I cut, and you can see in the, uh, on film. I zigzag the hair through it. I pin the ends. I use the one pass iron, press it down quickly with the one pass iron, and then I grab my Ionic 10X dryer on cool setting to lock it in. It's the same kind of uh, technique that we've been using since your mother's hot rollers. First the heat changes the hair and cooling it down is what locks it in. And then I just slide the, uh, slide the coat hanger out and I have a beautiful zigzag pattern. In the finishing of the look, I ran my fingers through it. I keep an eye on it. I use the iron to, to just make sure the ends are bent under and have a uniformity. I shake it out and just keep looking at it in the mirror. And from there, I could either back home with my fingertips to get it very big or just have it a little bit of more of a sexy kind of finger wave. It's endless possibilities with that. In this look with uh, my, my, our model Monica, she came in with darker roots and I sometimes I like to work with that, I like the look of that. I knew I wanted to do something where there would be a braid to it because I like the way the blonde and the dark show up in a braid. So I curled it with the style winder on the underneath. I sectioned the top piece out because I knew I was going to put that in my braid and I basically created a halo braid around the top of her head like a crown. And just ran my fingers through it. When I do these braids to have it give it a cool look, I make sure I flatten out and widen the braid out so it has more. Instead of it just being a tight braid, I like to take it and, and with my thumbs widen the braid out. It has a cooler look.